Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Tonight we're going to do a quick healthy dinner. We're going to do some tuna sticks tonight. So we have our tuna sticks here. This would have been pre-prepped by washing it with lime. Now we're adding a light amount of oil. You can use any type of cooking oil. Preferably something that doesn't have an overpowering flavor. Then we're going to add some salt. So here I am actually using sea salt. So this is fine sea salt. Rub it on all sides of the tuna. Flip and continue working that sea salt on all sides. Then I'm adding black pepper. So again we're rubbing that black pepper on all sides of the tuna. Then I would have had some pre-prepped grated garlic. You can also do a fine blending of your garlic here. I would have used or just a, did a quick grate, fine grate on my garlic. Rub it around all over the meat. Work it around on all sides. It gives a good flavoring into that meat. I generally use one hand for touching the meat and one hand for touching the packages and bottles. Now I'm adding some all-purpose seasoning. Again, we continue to rub it around on all sides of the meat, even the, the side pieces. To ensure we have good flavoring. Continue to work that seasoning all around the meat. Now you have to be mindful of the amount of salt that you put in the beginning if you're using an all-purpose seasoning that already contains salt because you don't want it too salty as well. Now we have a pot already prepped. So we have our pan already prepped, it's heated, it's a good high heat with a small amount of vegetable oil in it and we're going to put in our tuna steak. Now we want the heat to be relatively high because we want to get a nice sear on the sides of the tuna. And remember it's fish so it's going to cook quickly. So our tuna is ready to flip and it's a huge piece. The tuna flip into the other side. You get a nice color on top. You guys can't believe how delicious the smell. Now we're going to toss in some garlic. Some butter. You want to get a nice sear on the other side and let that butter melt in. Now you just use a spoon and spoon that butter sauce onto the tuna and that keeps it moist. Now it only takes about 2 minutes on this side to get it well done, just the way that I like it. And the tuna steak is pretty much finished here. It's time for plating. When you place it onto the plate, pour some of that butter sauce onto the tuna. It's nice for dipping. And here's our finished product. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. Bye.